Nebraska will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. The Bruins and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Game of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Blue 14! Blue 14! Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From the 48-yard line, second down. make the stop at the 49-yard line. I like the combination of speed and strength that this cornerback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. 15's the mic. 15's the mic. I got 15. Set, take, check, 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 check. Motion. Hey, X. Cut. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down. Four down, four down. Watch 15. Watch 15. Watch 15. Blue 14. Blue 14. They try running left. He's at the 20. Brought down around the six yard line. Call it a game of 25 yards. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled at the three. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. Touchdown, Bruins! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. So a nine-play, 78-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. UCLA is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 28. He's to the 40, and he's level at the 41-yard line. They go with the run. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 40. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. 
makes a first and ten. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it second and six. From the 42 yard line, second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. Third down. Go! 268! And boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. UCLA's coaching staff, Kirk, I thought did a nice job getting them ready to play in this play. Yeah, and you and I have seen this sometimes when we travel. It's, it's where you see the crowd noise uh, throughout the practice week and how much that prepares them. I think the fact they did that to get ready has allowed them to go out there and execute and not be intimidated at all by this crowd. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it seven and six. Five wide. Nice run up the middle. UCLA up seven points. And down he goes at about the 23 yard line. First down. Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 31 yard line. Number 28 on the tackle at the 31 yard line. Three down, three down. That Mike makes it 15. second and two. Mike 15. Hey, seven. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense, put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. They bring him down in the backfield. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. That makes it fourth and four. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And they hit him in the backfield. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. From their own 15-yard line, second down. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That brings up third and 12. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7 nothing, Bruins. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. 
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. UCLA is up by a touchdown. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. Up the middle. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Gain of one yard. First down. Fifteen's the mic. Fifteen's the mic. I got fifteen. You don't see me. The halfback with a carry. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's immediately tackled. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Number 11 with the tackle at the 34 yard line. That brings up second and one. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. UCLA is up a score. That's a great tackle at the 11. Number 11 brings him down at the 11-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. He's on the run. Touchdown, UCLA. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. You know, this quarterback continues to score touchdowns, and you can see how happy this makes his offensive lineman. A running quarterback and a quarterback scoring touchdowns with his legs takes a lot of pressure off the big boys up front. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Ball is loose, fumble. It's picked up. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Quick throw. He steps out right around the 28-yard line. Over the 
middle to his tailback. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the screen pass. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here. And he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. He gets it up. And he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17 to nothing, UCLA. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Nebraska's going to take their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's tackled right away. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 48. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Slings it. He's tackled the 39-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Looking to capitalize on the big run, it's now first and goal. That brings him second and goal. I got him, I got him. Mike 35, Mike 35. He fights forward to about the 10. Two yard gain on the quarterback keeper. That makes his third and goal. Just throws this one away. This one should be makeable. It's up, and he's got it. Nebraska gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Bruins offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game even though he's not having great stats he's part of it and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack at them. Uh, this offense is still putting points on the board and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver the go-to man who's drawing so much attention really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense we've seen other receivers make some plays they're running the football so it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense and who knows maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. about the 33-yard line. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 17-3, UCLA. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or you know change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game you got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Is stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets to about the 27-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 27. Especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. And he's taken down right around the 42 yard line. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. stop at the 42. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third down again. He's taken down around the 50 yard line. That's good for him. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. He's into the open field. Runs outside for a nice game. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. Short 
short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The 11-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. <laughs> Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's good for a four yards. That makes play 13 of the current drive. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And he's taken down at the 15. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. UCLA is up seven. And they push him out right around the 10-yard line. They line up at the 10. Second down. They'll bring him down to the 30-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. He might have a chance. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He tackles him for a loss. Three-yard line. He heaves it deep. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. As soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Makes it to the 41. Second down and five. Ball on the 45-yard line. Nice run there. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Bruins with a touchdown lead.
back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. 35 is the mic. Cut. 288. And he carries the ball for a nice game. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen, maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. It's recovered. The defense was that close to coming up with a big play. Yeah, they tried to get a little bit too fancy there on that option play. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. They come out on an empty backfield. He's out to the 30. It's out to around the 35. That's good for UCLA is up a score. He makes his way to about the 48. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That's good for a First down. Down, three down. 15's the mic. 15's the mic. I got 15. Hey. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That's a loss of six yards. Hey. So the sack makes this a second and long. Watch your team. Watch your team. Watch your team. Reset. Tight right. Hey, watch 28. Down. Let's go, defense. Hey. That's a really athletic play when you're right at the point of attack. You don't have a whole lot of time to react, but he moved very quickly, and he got his hands in the way of the pass. If you can get a hand up at the line of scrimmage on every pass, you'll really make it tough on a quarterback to find his rhythm back in the pocket. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Down. On the ground with the tailback. He makes his way to about the 28. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Less than three minutes in the game. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. He makes his way to about the 45. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From 
from the 45 yard line. First down. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at the 31 yard line. Six yards there on the option keeper. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Run left side. Tackled after decent pickup. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. Second and 15. Ball on the 24. He steps out right around the 20. That's a that brings us it's the ninth play of the drive. Coming to you, coming to you. Just over a minute left. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 17 yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Go! Alert, alert, steamer, steamer, alert. He's going to try and scramble. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's level at the 24. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down from their own 24-yard line. It's first down. The Cornhuskers used their second timeout. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Nebraska will use their final timeout. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. 10-20. He makes it to the 32-yard line. UCLA's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game.